Hey everybody, it's Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and today we're going to take a look at a game called Koba Yakawa. Koba Yakawa is a game published by Yellow and Superlude and Oink before that, but my version is Yellow. Plays three to six players in 15 minutes. Now the theme of this game, it is, the powerful Koba Yakawa samurai clan wants to thwart your conquest of Japan. Do you have the strength and guile to stop them? That's the theme. But effectively what you're doing in this game is it's a, you're playing eight rounds, but there's two different phases at each of the round. The first phase, you're trying to either get the highest card in your hand, because at the end of the round, you're going to be fighting and you're trying to have the highest card, or you want to have the lowest card in your hand with the card in the middle being really high to add to your score to give you a boost. The person who has the lowest gets the help of the Kobayakawa card. That's it. You're trying to have the most coins through eight rounds. There is a theme, but effectively, themeless card game. So let's go down to the table. Check it out. Come on, play the game. All right, so here's a game of Kobo Yakawa, all set up for three players. To set up, really easy. You're going to give each player four Caymans, which is basically the currency of the game. Uh, you're going to shuffle the cards, give each player a card, put the deck here, flip a card. That's the Kobo Yakawa. That's going to help the person with the lowest number, and we'll get to that. And then for the game, we're going to play eight rounds, so you put eight coins. All the rest of the coins, put in the box. Then you're gonna randomly give somebody the first player or however it says to do it in the book, we just randomly do it and then you're ready to go. Now, the game is really easy. It's gonna be played over two phases. The first phase, you're gonna be jockeying to get the best or lowest card in your hand and then the appropriate Kobe Akawa card. So there's one of two things you can do. Then the second half, we're going to fight possibly and try to either have the lowest number with in combination with that, which gives you the highest number or the highest number, all right? So let's go ahead and go. So first player, I'll go ahead and show you their cards. I'll just show you their card and that's it. So they have a one. Now, that's the lowest card in the game. The cards go from one to 15, I believe. So what they wanna do is they wanna get this card to be the highest card possible because this total plus this card will be their score in the fight, all right? So what they're gonna do on your action, you can either take a card into your hand and then swap a card out and put put, uh, put it face up in front of you or you can just flip a card into the Kobe Okawa and that's what they're gonna do. So they have a 10 in the Kobo Yakawa. So that gives them a total of 11 for the fight, all right? So then this player, they're gonna go ahead and drop, draw a card. And let me put this face down because this one needs to be face down. So they're gonna go ahead and draw a card. They'll look at it and they'll keep that card. They'll put this one face up in front of them and they'll keep this one. Then this player will go ahead and Flip the Kobayakawa. Ooh, an 11, all right. So that's the end of the phase one. That's all you're gonna do. You're gonna substitute, twist your hand out, discard in front of you, or you're gonna put a card from the deck on top of the Kobayakawa, all right? Now we're moving into phase two, which is the fight phase. And what you're gonna do here is you're going to put a coin in if you want to participate in the fight, meaning you think you have the highest number or the your card plus this is the highest number, all right? So this player, I showed you that earlier, they have a one. So they feel pretty good, that's a 12. So as long as no one has a 13, 14, or 15, they're pretty good, so they'll go in. This player is not gonna go in, so they'll stay out. This player will go in as well. So one and three, this one did not go in. So these two are in. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna reveal our cards. So they have a one, they have a 15. So they get the help of the Kobayakawa, so they get a 12, but they have a 15, so they have the highest number, so they win. So what happens is they get all the coins that were bid or bet plus one that's the game timer so we're going to play seven rounds just like that then when all that's done we'll put the cards back in the pile whoever won becomes the new first player so that's this player then we'll shuffle up and we'll do it all again and that's basically it i'm not going to play through any more rounds because it's just going to be seven more rounds just like that and at the end of the game you are trying to have the most coins if there's a tie Whoever is either this player or closest to this player is the winner. And that is how you play Kobo Yakawa. Let's go to the top, see what you think about it. What do you think, son? What do you think? All right, well, that was Kobo Yakawa. So let's look at the components. Coins, 
which are just cardboard chits. They're Caymans. I'm assuming that's coins. I don't really know what a Cayman is. I'm, I'm guessing a coin, but tokens, Cayman tokens. First player marker. I'm not sure which side is up, which side's down. I apologize. And a deck of cards with uh, a nice back. They're nice little finished cards and numbers on the front. The only weird thing is this is the seven. It looks like a backwards F or yeah, it's kind of strange, but that's a seven. Everything else, it has characters for the theme, but you know, it has numbers in all four corners, which is nice. So that's the, the production. Box is small. Um, it's probably actually too big for what the game is. It could be that big and we'd still be good. But yeah, components are nice and it's just cards. So you want to have nice cards and the cards are good. So this is a, we've had this game on our shelf since I think either our first or second origin. So six or seven years, five years. I'm not sure when it came out. When did this get released in America, does it say? Uh, it does not say on the box, but we've had it on our shelf for a while. So maybe I'm misremembering, but we've had it for a minute. Uh, and we've never played it, but we're getting ready to do uh, a take a look at the shelf that this game is on. And in order to talk about it semi-coherently, which is all we ever do, we wanted to be able to play it so we knew what was going on. So we played it. And it's a fun little game. It's simple. Um, it, it's probably going to be more fun with more players. I just wanted to show you how the game worked at three. We played it at four, and it was a good time. Uh, it's way more tense than it should be. All you're doing is either putting a card in your hand and exchanging it with yours or flipping a new card to the Kobayakawa pile and just trying to get the high card. That's it. It's effectively a fancy game of war, but it's enjoyable, and I kind of like it. Um, don't know why I've waited so long to play it until now, but I'm glad that I did. So this is going to get a BGM accepted seal. This is going to get a 7.5 out of 10 on BGG, which is a 3.75 out of 5 wrenches on an arbitrary wrench scale. That means absolutely nothing. But we have to give it the games that we enjoy, and that's what I'm going to do. So that is Kobe Akawa from Yellow. I'm Jason with the Board Game Mechanics. And as always, keep gaming.